guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a first impressions as kind of review of the new One Size by Patrick Star and Turn Up the Base Powder Foundation. I am super excited to try this since Patrick is kind of known for like amazing makeup, great complexion. So anytime he comes out with complexion products, I'm so excited to try it. So today I wanted to see how good this powder foundation is and if it can help cover my acne, acne scars, and acne prone skin. And even I'm gonna try it with foundation as well as on its own so if you're interested in seeing how my review and first impressions on the one size turn up the base powder foundation and if it can help with your acne and acne scarring and covering that up a little bit then just keep on watching So I guess we'll go in with some background on it. So I have the Sephora app open right now. So this is One Size by Patrick Star, the Turn Up the Base Versatile Powder Foundation. I love the packaging. This is like so pretty. The only thing I hate about things like this is like fingerprint central. Drives me nuts, but it's okay. This is the Turn Up the Base Versatile Powder Foundation and this retails for $33. And this powder is described as a buttery smooth, buildable, medium to full coverage powder foundation with a multi-use formula, a soft matte finish, and up to 12 hours of wear. So I guess medium to full coverage. Well, that sounds great, so we'll see. So I went ahead and did most of my makeups. I put foundation, concealer, I'm just wearing the L'Oreal Fresh Wear Foundation and the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer, which is usually a little bit more full coverage, but I kind of like used a beauty blender and I think it took most of my product off, so that kind of sucks. And this comes in 32 shades. And again, that'll retail for $33. And then I love how the packaging that this enclosure here is just so easy to open and close. And then you got like a little mirror situation right here. And I'm in the shade light three neutral gold. And I figured that would just fit me the best. So for my primer base, I'm using the one size secure the blur primer since we're kind of doing this video. I'm just gonna do it today with a brush and then throughout this wear test. So today I'm gonna do it on top of foundation and concealer. And then I will also do a wear test of just with just this foundation, maybe a little bit of concealer, but just to see how much coverage that provides there. All right, so now that we're all zoomed in, I'll bring the light down a little bit. So let's just see what we're looking like face-wise. So I've broken out quite a bit. Again, I'm wearing foundation and concealer, but I think my beauty blender took most of my concealer off. I've also been wearing this for quite a few hours, so it could be faded a little bit. So it's a lot better, but. All right, so let's go ahead and just get into it. So I'm just gonna take my little powder poof. And the color I think is actually gonna work really well. So this um, light three neutral gold. Ooh, okay. Wow, okay. Well, I love the matte finish so far and appearance it's giving me, and I think it really evened out and kind of gave me, brought back a lot more color to my face again, since it was just kind of foundation and concealer. I don't know if you can tell, but I feel like it looks, at least in the little mirror I have, like I feel the blur. I'm actually very impressed how blurred that is. It is clinging a little bit to my dry patches on my nose. So I feel like this looks really, really good so far. And it is a matte finish, but I still feel like I have somewhat of like a glow to me, which is really not what I was expecting. So I really like this so far. And I think you can really build, it'll be interesting to see if I can build this to full coverage, but I feel like even this side seems just a little bit more covered than where we were beforehand. So far so good on this powder. So we'll see how long this wears today. I'm gonna finish right now the rest of my makeup. Okay, so my makeup is all done and all I need to do is like just add some like eyebrow powder but other than that we're good. I think the blur factor is definitely there especially with like my texture like right here. Like this side of my face looks amazing and even this side even though I have like more acne and like bumps here like yeah you can still see them peeking through a little bit. This brush obviously doesn't provide like a ton of coverage like it's, it's huge like it's not going to provide a lot of coverage so you'll definitely get more with like a little like sponge or like a powder poof for sure which I think is how he applies it. So I'm definitely gonna try that. But so far, just as like a layer on top, I really like how it looks. And I feel like it still looks natural right here. So it's definitely that medium coverage. The blur effect is there, but it still looks really natural and really nice. It'll be 
really interested to see how this will act on its own, but I'm gonna go throughout my day and see how long this coverage lasts. Right now it is 2.23 p.m. So I have some errands to run, see how this holds up with that sweat and everything. And I will check back with you guys in a few hours. I think it looks really good. Like I'm still seeing that poreless effect, which is really nice. And I don't feel like my texture is super emphasized and I feel like my makeup has been on for a very long time, like pretty much all day. The color is really good and it is now 8.30. Hey, this is me with just the one size powder foundation on. I have no concealer, nothing else, just some light eyebrow stuff. I'm gonna hop on another work zoom in like a few minutes. So thought just in case I have to show on camera. You can see a little, a little bit peeking through. It's like not as bad as you would think though for just being powder and it does give me some color back. I just put it on so this is what it looks like fresh. I'm really good for those quick zoom touch-ups so far. It's time to wrap up my review on the One Size Turn Up The Base Foundation Powder. I really do feel like it makes me look very blurred and poreless, especially like around right here. I really, really enjoy it. I think I really like this and I've been reaching it since I've been testing it. I've really been liking their translucent powder too. So their complexion, I've been really liking so far as far as powders go. One thing I do think you can skip on, I know this isn't like a one size brand review or whatever, but I do think you can skip on the one size Secure the Blur Magnetic Makeup Primer. I have been testing this out as well these past couple of weeks. And unfortunately, I do think this may be breaking me out. I'm not 100% certain. It could be just due to my stress at work, but I've been trying this out the past couple of weeks and it just isn't my favorite. It's kind of like standard primer that like is supposed to help with blurring and pores. It's like feels very silicone-y. It does have niacinamide, I believe it's supposed to have in here, but again, just nothing. It doesn't scream to me like, oh, this is an amazing primer. So if any Anything, I think you can skip out on this and it's just not my favorite in terms of primers, but the powder 100% recommend. Also the translucent powder is also very good that I've been trying. They both just make you look really poreless, really blurred, which I love. And again, I don't mind that it is more of a medium coverage powder just because I feel like powders never give me like full, full coverage on their own anyway. They give me just enough where I feel like I can go out and run errands and stuff and you know, make me look good on Zoom, but I don't go to just powders for full coverage. I'll go for concealer and the foundation for that if I need some more coverage for these dark spots and hyperpigmentation. But that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know down in the comments below if you have tried anything from One Size Beauty by Patrick Starr. Do you like it? Do you like the complexion products? Is anything kind of worth it for you? Or do you think it's kind of like standard run of the mill? I would love to know. And if you are interested in any other beauty reviews, you can click a curated playlist here. Or if you're interested in more skincare reviews, you can go ahead and click one of the videos here and I will see you in the next one.